Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot card. These are your Daily Tarot cards for Friday, July the 16th, 2021. Today we are pulling from the Tarot of Dreams. We start off with the Tree of Life and I definitely feel like, you know, this is where you are in life right now. I feel like they're saying this is where you were always meant to be. I feel like this is everything that's happening right now. Everything is the way it's supposed to be right now. We do get the 2K here, which really stood out to me. So I feel like if you're on social media, maybe you're reaching a milestone of 2K. I know for some people it's like, oh, 2K is not too much. But it's like, I feel like you're brand new on whatever, you know, I feel like it's been like a struggle to get like um, more um, exposure. So I feel like you're reaching a milestone. I feel like you're finding new ways to sit there and, and uh, make yourself, your presence known. We have the two cups and we have the lover. So we have two, two, two. So with that angel number appearing, it's all about new beginnings, divine sign, new cycle, starting, growth and expansion. So I feel like, you know, this is very significant. If you feel like, you know, things are stagnant, you're feeling frustrated. It's like, why aren't things moving forward? Am I doing something? We always like turn inward, you know, when things aren't, you know, going a certain way. It's like, okay, what can I do to improve this? You know, especially those people that want to make something happen. You know, they don't sit there and blame out outside sources. They're like, okay, what can I do in my, in my, you know, circumference? What can I do in my area? What can I do more of? You know, because you're an action person. You're not the person that's like, oh, I'll blame X, Y, and Z. Or, you know, you want you want things to go. You want action. We have the two of cups. So in this specific tarot deck, they're talking about a uh, like a, a, a coming or a collaboration or a gathering of two people. Either this is a new love, a new friendship, or a collaboration. With this deck, I feel like it could be both. But from my experience with traditional tarot decks, I feel like this is all about love. I feel like this new chapter in love is here. I feel like, you know, that you, they're highlighting you as a partner, the ultimate partner that's very giving. And I feel like, you know, this is where you two are meant to be together. The lovers, the two of cups. I definitely, you know, this is between an, it's an emotional situation and it's also, also the higher levels of thinking. So intellectually, so not only like chemistry, but intellectually you two will be, you know, together. But I definitely feel like with the Queen of Cups, it's highlighting you as a partner that you're a giver. Oh, dolphins again. I've been dreaming about dolphins. Um, but I, if my personal opinion, I feel like this is just the upcoming of love. I feel like you've reached a new, I feel like you're finally ready for love. You've been either single for so long or, um, you know, you've come to heal or there's something or it's just like a brand new beginning. You know, we get that with two, two, two. So in my opinion, I feel like I don't feel a collaboration. I definitely feel like this is a new start in your love life. I feel like you're ready to start this new cycle. So starting off with the tree of life, you know, again, I definitely feel like they're saying you're at this phase of life where it's just like, if you're kind of questioning things, I feel like they're just saying you are where you need to be. This is what, you know, life is about. I feel like, you know, this was written in the stars. I definitely get that with all the numbers there. But I definitely feel like, um, you know, you're exactly where you're meant to be. So if you're questioning it, I feel like you may not understand what's going on right now. And that's okay. You know, sometimes things happen in our life. And it's like, you know, you kind of look at the situation and you're like, well, if you're doing everything right, you know, there's nothing more I can do. So this is, there's a reason behind why this is happening right now. So just to go with the flow of things, we keep getting that. So, you know, it is a highly emotional time. Um, they're talking about retrograde with, I hope I'm saying this right, Citron. And, um, you know, it's going to last from now until December. They're talking about he's um, this healer of old wounds. So, you know, it starts today and it's just like, or is it today? I'm pretty sure it's today. And, um... It's funny that it starts in the in the zodiac season of Cancer, where it's very emotional, and we do get the presence of water with the cups. So I definitely feel like you know if you're feeling you know this like kind of anxiousness and on un, like un, unsure, your your footing isn't you know on firm ground. I feel like you know maybe meditation, or maybe take a bath, get yourself grounded in water, or you know um you know with the summer season being here and. North America, get yourself in like a pool of water, like an ocean or a lake or a river. 
So we're going to go to the far right where it's the uh, two of cups. So both of you coming to, to come into this union with a pure intention, with a pure cup of love. We do have the Cancer Zodiac symbol up here on the far right. Um, usually this is represented by Gemini. So the fact that they have a, you know, the Zodiac sign Cancer on the top is, um, I guess, highlighting that maybe one of you may be a Cancer. The beginning of relationships, whether love affair, real friendship, or business partnership, an equal relationship. People who are capable, easy, warm with each other, sharing. And I feel like it's like the two of you just get each other. Like you just, you know, you just see each other. So this is highlighting Venus. So, you know, again with love and cancer, your impulse to relate tries to find a home port, a secure and dependable force for its attention. So it's like, you know, you're kind of looking for somewhere to, someone that's dependable. Maybe you don't have dependable people in your life. So now this, this friend comes in, this, you know, this lover may come in or a partnership may come in. Maybe you've, you've tried collaborations before and it's just, it's not just quite right. Or it's just like, you know, something happens where there's a falling out. So I feel like this time, if it is a collaboration, it will work when they're talking about a business collaboration. So we go to the Queen of Cups now. And I feel like this is highlighting, you know, your cup always runneth over for other people. You will give them the shirt off your back. You will give them the last $2 in your account. You know, if you have a party, you know, you make sure there's plenty of food. Everybody's eating good. Everybody's drinking good. And that they're, that they're, that they're feel comfortable before you can have a seat and enjoy yourself. The Queen of Cups indicates a period when an emotional matter has become so in, in, entrenched that it takes on a life of its own and must be dealt with on its own terms. So something is exploding. Something is expansive. You know, again, we have the Zodiac sign Cancer right here. This really stood out to me. I know this is Gemini here. Funny enough, Gemini, this is supposed to be Gemini. So again, Cancer and Gemini. So you may be a water sign or an air sign. You don't necessarily, I know they're specifically saying that, but you know, our air signs, Aquarius, um, Libra, and oh my gosh, I'm going to mess it up. Gemini, I just said it. And then our water signs, uh, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. So they can be saying, you know, if you may have these, your sun, moon rising, you know, so it could be like the collaboration of the two of you. So two thirds, one third, <clears throat> two thirds cancer, one third Gemini. The Queen of Cups thinks Gemini only in emotional terms. Well, Gemini is our, well, no, because cancer is our, our water. Hmm. So our last card is the lovers. You know, I love the tender embrace between the two of them. Like he's, he's listening to her heartbeat. You know what I mean? Like there that's an a tender and you know, passionate embrace, you know? And I feel like, you know, with the with the the sheer curtains here, they're in front of a window. It's like the 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 winds of change, like, you know, things are changing. A relationship of any kind or specifically a love relationship, sharing one's viewpoint with another, successful or unsuccessful, revealing vulnerabilities, a partial Related mystery attracted by op opposition. And remember they were saying that, you know, um, that with, uh, I think it was Monday or Tuesday's cards, they were saying that some people will be happy for you and some people will be against you. You know, especially if you're moving on and you may be like, you know, like your partner has passed away or you're divorced and you move on, their family gets upset with you. Maybe till now you guys had this cordial relationship and now you decided, you know what, I've mourned this long enough where I'm ready. You know, it's your life, you know, going back to the tree of life. I'm ready to move forward. And, you know, someone has a problem with it, but it's your life. So Zen means sword. The sword represents the aspect of human relationships that always maintains a barrier between any two people. So maybe you don't get along with his mom and that's a huge issue because he gets along very well with his mom. And then his mom is like, well, I know she's going to keep you away from me. You know what I mean? Where there's that 
that barrier between the two of you. So that complete union, which seems always in reach, is never quite attained. Gemini is the sign of communication between people and understanding the relationship between things. So I feel like, you know, are you going to let that barrier stand in your way? Is it that whatever... Is this one thing standing your way significant enough for you two just to go your separate ways? So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Friday, July 16th, 2021. May the universe bless you good. Have an amazing weekend. We'll see you for the next daily tarot card. Bye.